So this is an MLB news and rumors video for you guys as a lot has happened today actually in the world of the MLB. So uh, the first was a trade between uh, actually a three team trade between uh, the Atlanta Braves, the Oakland Athletics and the Milwaukee Brewers. So uh, this of course is talking about Sean Murphy uh, of the Oakland Athletics getting traded to the Atlanta Braves. So uh, Jeff Passan tweeted out full trade per ESPN sources. Atlanta gets catcher Sean Murphy. Oakland gets Kyle Muller, uh, Yusturi Ruiz. Freddie Tarnock, uh, Robai Solinas, and Manny Pena. Uh, if I mispronounce any of those names, I apologize. Or, or, Maddie P or Manny Pena. Um, Pena, if I mispronounce that, I apologize. Uh, and then the Milwaukee Brewers get uh, William Contreras, Justin Yeager, and Joel Payamp. So uh, a pretty big trade actually in the MLB today uh, with one team being a contender, that of course being the Atlanta Braves uh, and two teams being rebuilders. Uh, those of course being the Oakland Athletics and the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, Sean Murphy has been talked about um, in trade conversations. It seems like the last couple weeks now uh, with there actually being news of the Braves uh, being uh, you know interested in close to a trade, you know, like about a week ago now, uh, it finally happened today. So uh, Sean Murphy is a pretty solid uh, option at the catcher position um, one of the best in all baseball and this is a pretty good move uh, for the Atlanta Braves uh, so pretty good you know good for them they move on from William Contreras so you know, pretty big move for the MLB um, and the Atlanta Braves, Oakland Athletics, and Milwaukee Brewers. In case you were wondering what Sean Murphy put up last year in regards to stats and what his career stats look like, uh, last year he had a 3.5 war, uh, 134 hits, hit 250, 18 homers, uh, 66 RBIs, just one stolen base, uh, but had an OPS plus of 120. So uh, he's a pretty valuable player. Uh, the Atlanta Braves definitely get better in this trade um, and for his career, uh, actually had a pretty good year. Uh, last year compared to what his career averages are. So, uh, you know, shout out to Sean Murphy for having a pretty good year last year in Oakland. Uh, and hopefully he can continue that success uh, in Atlanta for the Braves in 2023 and beyond. So with the Sean Murphy trade uh, as their new starting catcher, here's what the projected lineup looks like for the Atlanta Braves uh, for the 2023 MLB season. Uh, they have Ronald Acuna Jr. in right field, uh, Michael Harris in center, Austin Riley at third, Matt Olson at first, uh, newly acquired Sean Murphy um, at catcher, Travis Diarno at DH, uh, Ozzy Albies at second, Marcel Ozuna in left, uh, and Von Grissom in shortstop. So overall, uh, a pretty stacked lineup uh, if you are the Atlanta Braves. And this addition definitely helps your team. Uh, fits the timeline of your age. You know, the fact he's only, I think, 28 years old, uh, you know, it fits into this team very well. It was actually pr a pretty young team uh, in the Atlanta Braves. But regardless, uh, pretty awesome moves. The Braves did get better uh, after this Sean Murphy trade. Shifting gears a little bit to free agency, the Toronto Blue Jays were active once again uh, and signed uh, Chris Bassett, former New York Mets pitcher, to a three-year contract. So uh, Fox Sports tweets out, uh, the Toronto Blue Jays are signing Chris Bassett to a three-year, $63 million deal per Jeff Passan. So uh, this is $21 million a year. Uh, it's interesting because the Blue Jays were one of those teams that wanted to make a splash in free agency. Uh, as a Blue Jays fan personally, I'm super happy they made a splash in regards to starting pitching. Now, Chris Bassett's a little bit up there in age, so uh, we are adding a bit of an older pitcher, which seems to be a theme as of late uh, for the Blue Jays, adding some older pitchers um, in free agency, uh, as we've seen the last couple of years. You don't want shorter term contracts, but for a decent amount of money. Uh, so hopefully Chris Bassett can still uh, perform and play well in the American League East. He's going to a hitter's division, so uh, it might be a little bit difficult for him numbers-wise. But regardless, uh, I think Chris Bassett had a pretty good year last year. Um, and hopefully he can be a good player for the Toronto Blue Jays and the rotation uh, for the 2023 MLB season. In case you were wondering what Chris Bassett's stats were like last year with the New York Mets, he actually had a pretty good year, as I mentioned before. Uh, 3.2 war, 15 wins, 9 losses, had an ERA of 3. Uh, in 30 games played, um, he pitched 181 innings, so that's pretty solid with 167 strikeouts. So uh, a pretty solid move by all means uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays, getting one of the best pitchers available on the market. Um, definitely someone that was talked about in getting a decent contract, and he definitely did getting $21 million a year for three years. Um, I think it actually works pretty well for both Chris Bassett and the Toronto Blue Jays. So uh, the Blue Jays get their arm they're looking for. Chris Bassett gets the contract he's looking for, and hopefully it can result uh, in a pretty good year for both the Blue Jays and Chris Bassett in 2023. Now with the addition of Chris Bassett, here's what the projected rotation for the Toronto Blue Jays looks like for 2023. Uh, they have Alec Manoa, Kevin Gosman, and Jose Barrios. A really solid one, two, three option. 
uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays in their starting rotation, uh, followed by Chris Bassett at the four. Uh, and then Yusei Kikuchi is labeled as their fifth. But I wouldn't be surprised if they move Kikuchi either to the bullpen, maybe bring in another player or whatever. Uh, so the only criticism I, I will have is that Bassett and Kikuchi are a little bit up there in age as well as Kevin Gosman. Now, Kevin Gosman had a pretty good year last year. Uh, this team is really reliant on Jose Barrios, Kevin Gosman, and Alec Manoa. So uh, by adding a fourth arm in Chris Bassett, who's a pretty high-end player, uh, you know, assuming he's healthy and all that stuff for next year, uh, I think this Blue Jays rotation got better. Uh, and I'm fairly excited for them heading into 2023. I don't think the Jays are done yet in free agency, though. I could see them making maybe one move or so uh, in the offseason to add uh, maybe a little bit more depth in the outfield. But as of right now, uh, they address starting pitching. I also think they might address the, the reliever uh, market by signing a bullpen arm or two. So we'll keep an eye on the Blue Jays there. But this is what their projected lineup looks like uh, after... Uh, the addition of Chris Bassett. One last item to note for this video, this is actually more of a trade rumor, uh, but it's linking Dalton Varsho of the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks to the Houston Astros. So uh, Bob Nightingale tweeted out, the dormant trade market is finally waking up. The Houston Astros and Arizona Diamondbacks have engaged in trade talks about D-backs outfielder Dalton Varsho. The asking price remains steep. So uh, we know this offseason, the Astros have been in the market for an outfielder, um, in, either in free agency or the trade market. Uh, they've been linked to guys uh, like Andrew Benatendi, Brandon Nemo prior to him signing back with the Mets, Michael Brantley, Michael Conforto. In regards to free agency options, we've also seen the Astros linked uh, to Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates and now uh, Dalton Varsho of the Arizona Diamondbacks. So it seems like at this point, uh, the Astros could very well be exploring the trade market rather than free agency uh, and try to bring uh, an outfielder uh, to their team for the 2023 season uh, and beyond. In case you are wondering what Dalton Varsho uh, put up last year in regards to stats. He actually had a really impressive season, uh, a 4.9 war, uh, 125 hits, just hit 235. So not exactly uh, the average you're hoping for, but he did put up 27 home runs, which is pretty impressive. Uh, 74 RBIs to add, uh, you know, with 16 stolen bases, which is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Uh, had an OPS plus of 109. So definitely a pretty good year uh, for, Dar uh, for Dalton Varsho uh, on the Arizona Diamondbacks next year. You would imagine that he's only going to be getting better in his MLB career. Uh, and this is just the start of it. So uh, if you're the Houston Astros, you would be acquiring a player just entering the prime of his MLB career uh, that could definitely be you know a 30 to 40 home run hitter uh, next season uh, especially on an Astros lineup where it's pretty deep as it is um, I really do think that Dalton Varsho could succeed uh, and excel with the Astros but we'll keep an eye on the Astros uh, in regards to their free agency uh, but also what the trade market might look like uh, for them acquiring an outfielder so that's going to be it just a quick news and rumors video for you guys in regards to the MLB leave your thoughts down below as always thanks again for watching and see you in the next one